Today was a great day. Today's an important day. There's no sun up in the sky. Good morning, everyone. I got work until 4 p.m., ladies and gentlemen, so I'm gonna be sitting here for a while, but you know what? It's all good. I got DoorDash coming. I got I got Sickies coming. Gonna be a good time. But you know what is gonna be a good time? Boom. SummerSlam. There's no sun up. I'm gonna be talking a little bit about SummerSlam and what's gonna be going on. There's a bunch of matches that I'm really excited for. If I'm honest with you guys, I've been excited for this for a while now, ever since WrestleMania. As some of you may know, I'm a huge fan of WWE, guessing by last week, where I went to Monday Night Raw. For this card, how, how many do we have here? A lot of it's got a title on the line, so. Got seven matches today. Pretty busy, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, yeah, without further ado, I guess let's, let's just talk about it, right? In the sky. One of the best storylines that's ever come out this year. As we all know, Triple H loves long story, like long storytelling, not just cheap ones. I think that's a great direction to go into. It means something rather than just like a, just like a normal match. This is what this is. This means way more than just a normal match. You know what I mean? With the whole bracelet that Drew McIntyre's got and, you know, CM Punk's shenanigans. It's been a really fun storyline. And, you know, honestly, and honestly, it's been, it's been better than some storylines that have a title in it. Now, for some reason, they added Seth Rollins in the mix of this, which... It makes sense, but I feel like it's, I don't know, I, I mean, did we really need it? Not really, but it, it's gonna be an interesting match nonetheless. It's gonna be a banger, let me tell you that. This this is gonna hit. This could be a main event as it is. Who do I think is gonna win this? Um, this one's a hard one. I think looking at this whole card, it's been, it's, it's difficult to predict. I think McIntyre is going to get this. I don't think it'll be clean though. I feel like this could, this could go on for a while. This could do like a trilogy. It, 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 this could be huge, so. Well, this is already huge. This is gonna be a hit match, let me tell you that. Yeah, I think Drew McIntyre's gonna get this first one, though. It would only make sense that way. No way. Now, this is another one that's pretty hard to predict. Gunther versus Damien Priest. Obviously, Gunther, the ring... <laughs> They've been pushing Gunther really hard. Like, ever since he started into the main roster, like, he's just been... He's been a dominant force, you know what I mean? I think he's only been pinned, like, less than five times ever since he joined the roster. They've been pushing Gunther really hard, and he's definitely on his way to becoming, a like, a world heavyweight champ or even, like, a WWE champion. Who knows? But I... I just don't think it's gonna be tonight. You know, all these predictions could be wrong, but that's the fun in it, is that, like, it's actually, like, it's hard to predict. Because, obviously, like, Gunther's going crazy, but also, Damon Priest is at his, uh, he's at his peak right now. He's peaking hard. And I think if there was anyone deserving of a title reign right now, I think it would be Damon Priest, if I'm honest with you. Like I said, I could be wrong. I just don't think Gunther's gonna be champion right now. He's been built up well, let me tell you that, but, you know, he's been built up just as well, too, so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Damon Priest on this one. All right, now, admittedly, I haven't been following this one much at all, just because Nia Jax is in the mix. I don't care for Nia Jax at all. I think Nia Jax is... nah. I'm good. Bailey versus Nia Jax for the Women's WWE Championship, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I haven't been following this one much, uh, so I don't exactly know. Oh, no, no. She won Queen of the Ring, that's why. I feel like one of them, at least, has to win the championship from the, the King and Queen of the Ring. I just don't want it to be Nia Jax. If anything, put it on Gunther, man. Put it on Gunther. Never mind what I said earlier. If there was one that could win the championship, please, please let it be Gunther, all right? I hate Nia Jax, all right? <laughs> all my homies hate Nia Jax, all right? Please don't let Nia Jax win the championship, all right? Bailey's keeping it, all right? That's my prediction. Just just, just out of hatred, all right? All right, for this one, unfortunately, I had to go to Reddit to go find this image. This is one that I've been pretty excited about. This is Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan for the women's world championship i had to heck i forget i'm sorry this one has been built up pretty well obviously it wasn't the way that they wanted it to be because obviously like the injury and stuff unless i don't think that was was that kayfabe all right so it was actually real it wasn't the exact storyline that they wanted to go to but you know what with the injury they've been cooking i'm not gonna lie i've been actually pretty hyped about this match who do i think is gonna win though um Ham, uh, ham, uh, <laughs> uh, Liv's gonna keep it. I feel like the story can't end there just yet. I don't think it's gonna be like a return from Rhea and then, you know, Liv loses the title right away. I, I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work like that. That's just me. Because I still think there's a bunch of stuff that you could do with Dom, potentially even Jey Uso, but we'll get to him later. I think Liv Morgan's gonna keep it, all right? I'm sorry, mommy. I know I have your shirt, but Liv's gonna keep it for now. I think eventually Rhea will take it, but I don't think it's gonna be in SummerSlam. <laughs> 
All right, don't mind the dog noises, but they're just happy to see each other or whatever. This one only has to go one way. Triple H, if you don't pick the right answer, I think for those of you that follow WWE, I think you already know what the right answer is gonna be for this one, but Triple H, right? Hunter, Hall of X. If you don't pick LA Knight, yeah, if he doesn't win this, I'm gonna be disappointed. Disappointment is an understatement. Either way, we're getting too ahead of ourselves here. Logan Paul versus LA Knight. The Maverick versus Eli Drake for the United States Championship. Now, obviously, let me tell you, I'm a fan of Logan Paul's work, all right? In the WWE, he's been such, he's been great. He knows how to work the crowd. He understands how to piss people off, and I, I, that's what makes him really good. And he's a great wrestler, too. Funny enough, he's actually the longest reigning champion right now. Not for much long, though, I'll say that. LA Knight, please. If Triple H decides, oh, you know what, Logan's got another few months on him, I'm... I'm gonna storm Stanford and I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. LA Knight's taking this, no doubt. Now here's one that kind of ties into the finale of SummerSlam. I think so, but we'll talk about that later. Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship versus Braun Breaker. I think Braun Breaker's gonna take this one, if I'm honest with you. Obviously, Braun Breaker's push has been insane. He's had an insane push in the past few months, past almost a year or something like that. Sami Zayn obviously retained the title last month. I don't think he's gonna retain the title this time. I think this was a calculated plan because they want to make Sami Zayn look good, but also push Braun Breaker at the same time. So how did they do that? They made Braun Breaker lose last month, and that made Sami Zayn look good and now Braun Breaker is gonna win the title because it's SummerSlam and the much bigger event is SummerSlam go figure right huh? with Jey Uso I'm gonna talk about him in a little bit all right no now we're gonna be talking about the one that everyone's been pretty hyped about of course besides that CM Punk and Drew McIntyre stuff but Cody Rhodes versus Roman not Roman bro I'm saying the tribal chief's name if this is gonna be the main event I have a few theories of how this is gonna go so on Smackdown they confirmed that this is gonna be a bloodline rules match so anything goes no disqualifications so is Cody retaining or losing I think Cody's gonna be retaining I think Cody's gonna be retaining because there's a much bigger story than just this championship match right I think this is a way to kind of even boost like the the bloodline storyline right because i think cody rhodes is going to be going a completely different like area all right like i think he's going to be done with the bloodline after this so at the end of the day i think cody's going to win this all right but this is much bigger like i said so solo sokoa the guy that's owen 30 has claimed himself to be the the, the tribal chief the head of the table that's cap <laughs> that's cap oh no, solo's not the head of the table all right my tribal chief is Roman Reigns, as always. One's up, baby. And obviously, he's been he's been recruiting some goons with him. Hey, 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 look what came through. Sickies. They're actually reliable resources for Solo Sokoa, but point is, the Bloodline won the, the, the tag team titles, and that makes me think even more that Solo Sokoa is not gonna win the titles. So. so I think what's gonna happen is at the end of like this match, just like a fantasy booking, all right? I think the Avengers might come back, boys. All right, so there's four. There's four of the new Bloodline, and then there's technically four of the old bloodline, minus Solo Sokoa. I think guaranteed we'll get Roman Reigns back at least. Now, if this whole fantasy booking in my head actually, like, comes to fruition, since it's bloodline rules, obviously the new bloodline's gonna, you know, get in there and beat up Cody or whatever, but I also think the old bloodline's gonna help Cody out. Roman Reigns, Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso, and then Sami Zayn. It's gonna be like another WrestleMania where like a bunch of people just show up to like beat each other up, you know what I mean? Cody's gonna retain, Cody's gonna move on to other ventures, and then the Bloodline's gonna have their own like big storyline, of course. I don't know if I'm gonna be right on this. That's the fun it is that it's actually unpredictable. There's a lot of WWE events that are just like, they're, you can predict them easily, but for this one, it's been pretty unpredictable, so I'm excited. Ooh, baby, a triple! Did they get my dipping sauce? Oh my God, they got me the dipping sauces. Oh, we got Sicky's Garage, ladies and gentlemen. We got a hot rod burger. Okay, that's nacho. Oh, this is definitely beer cheese. Damn. This is one of my favorites right here. It's literally just cream cheese, jalapeno, corn, and bacon. It's so good. Damn. Friday. Before I watch wrestling here tonight. I'm gonna be feeding the fishies. The yellow bacteria stuff's growing. I'm not gonna lie. I'll take care of that tonight, but for now, I'm just gonna be feeding them. Yes, sir. Well, you're ready for it. Yeah, yeah, you're ready for it. Come on, son. I'm sorry I haven't fed you guys in a minute, all right? I forgot to feed you guys this morning. Oh, yeah, enjoy that. All right, success. It is pretty hot. Oh, yeah, I need to grab a wife beater. I'm not gonna lie. It's like, oh, boy. It's a bit hot here in the city of angels, except it's not the city of angels, but it is hot regardless. I don't know, bro. What am I on about? For those of you that aren't too interested in the WWE stuff i understand if you need to skip this video more regularly scheduled programming tomorrow all right there's nothing much i can do i'm aware you don't 
ever do no wrong to me My heart keeps driving me crazy I don't got nobody just with you right now When I'm with you I've seen a resurgence of this song just a little bit because of the Instagram memes. And I'm all for it, you know what I mean? Baby, you're all that I want When you're lying here in my arms I'm finding it hard to believe We're in heaven Jesus Christ, Triple H is cooking, boy. Triple H is cooked. Yeah. For those of you that haven't watched, uh, this is gonna be a spoiler, all right? This is all gonna be spoilers. For those of you that don't want to hear it, I'd suggest getting out of this video ASAP. First match, Rhea versus Liv. Uh, well, Liv versus Rhea, all right? Liv's A-side. She was definitely A-side today. Well, Dominic Mysterio decided to show up for this match, and I knew he was gonna get involved somehow, and I thought the way that this was gonna go, like, there was gonna be an accidental, like, pin on Rhea because Dominic messed up or something, and that's exactly how it went. But on top of that, oh my god, bro. It was a full betrayal. I didn't think it was gonna go this way, but you know what? It I'm, I'm glad that it did because it makes it a lot more exciting. It was a full betrayal. Liv pins Rhea one, two, three. Liv gets outside of the ring. Dom picks Liv up. He kisses her. Trip's cooking. Trip's cooking. What the fuck? I thought Rhea was going to betray Dom first. I think at the end of the day, this makes Rhea look much better rather than her betraying Dom. <laughs> I mean, I'm 1 0, but oh my god. All right, it's been 15, 20 minutes since I last recorded that last clip. Yeah, Braun Breaker won. So that's 2-0 for my predictions, I figured. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm a little bit upset it was kind of a squash, but I mean, if they really wanna push Braun Breaker, I get it. And I still think Sami Zayn's got bigger fish to fry in terms of bloodline. That's 2-0 on the predictions, and I think we're gonna move on to the LA Knight versus Logan Paul. Yeah! Yeah! LA Knight won. That's 3-0 on our predictions, but I will say, man, it was a banger of a match. Oh my god. There was a spot where, like, Logan Paul, like, did this and then did, like, a backflip. Oh, that was amazing. That suplex from the top rope was crazy. <laughs> Logan almost got killed. And then the brass knuckles, MGK for some... Well, why is MGK there, bro? Who cares? Apparently, he's from Ohio, so I get it. Logan actually did get to use the brass knuckles, but it just, it, it just wasn't enough. Hit him with that BFT. Oh, it was light work. Congratulations, LA Knight, and uh, congratulations me for being 3-0 on the predictions. Ladies and gentlemen, this was my first wrong prediction. I'm not gonna lie, earlier I kind of thought of this match a little bit too linear, and I didn't think of the whole Tiffy stuff. There's gonna be a program right there, so that was a nice lift by Bailey, though. Like Nia Jax in the corner, Bailey lifts her up. Power bombs her? Very beautiful. Because I know it's not easy to do. Bailey versus Nia, my whole Jax. Congratulations, Nia Jax. Can't wait to see you get clobbered by Tiffany Stratton. I, I don't know, man. I'm just a big, I'm just a big Nia Jax hater. I'm not gonna lie. The most unsafe women's wrestler, man. All my homies hate Nia Jax. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I completely forgot what I predicted for this one, but CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre, Drew McIntyre won. All because of the bracelet, bro. CM Punk, oh man, Punk. The bracelet was the complete distraction. It was a chain reaction to everything that followed. He GTS Seth Rollins because Seth Rollins was holding the bracelet. I think it was literally just because like he didn't want it to be like destroyed or something. I don't think there was any malice in there, but CM Punk took that as like a, like a bad thing. He GTS Seth Rollins for it and then Punk got Low blow by Drew McIntyre, and then that was it. One, two, three. Just like Rhea Ripley, he he used his emotions to to make decisions. Two more matches. We got Damian Priest versus Gunther, and then Cody versus Solo. Sir. Ladies and gentlemen, I was wrong again. Gunther won. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, going into this, like, before the event even started, I thought that, you know, it was gonna go well for Damien Priest and everything. There may have been, like, an interference or whatever, but then as soon as I saw the whole Rhea and Dom stuff happen, I, I started to get some more doubts and more doubts, and the reason why I started getting doubts is because I thought that uh, Dominic Mysterio was gonna interrupt in the Damien and Gunther match, but, um, it turns out it was completely different. It was Finn. Finn was the one that backstabbed. Yeah, this is gonna be really interesting for Judgment Day, man. It's gonna be crazy. Crazy. Judgment Day Civil War, Bloodline Civil War eventually coming. It's crazy stuff. Gunther's chest started bleeding from all that, from all the chops. One more match. I'm really excited for this one. Oh my. Before we even talk, I'm gonna go feed the fishies here really quickly. Let's take care of you guys, alright? Because your father right here is incredibly hyped for this Roman Reigns return. I gotta feed you guys, of course, but that, that, that's that's just as important, alright? Jesus, don't fight. 
my god. There's enough to go around for both of you. But either way, oh my. Today marks the day that Roman Reigns came back, all right? Well, let's let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Let's quickly talk about the match itself. Cody Rhodes versus Sola Sokoa. I knew exactly how this one was gonna go outcome-wise, not like the outside stuff, but just the match itself. I knew exactly how this was gonna go. I knew Cody was gonna retain it, right? If Cody lost right away after having the title for like, I don't know, like 100 days, that would be an L. So that's out of the way, all right? That's prediction, great, all right? But I also predicted outside of the match. I also predicted that Roman Reigns was going to come back, and uh, I kind of fantasy booked it a little bit and thought he's going to bring back the Avengers, but no, he didn't. It's just him. Point being, here's how the match went, all right? It was a normal match. I think it was like 15 minutes of just like a normal normal wrestling match, and it started getting juicy. Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa decided to come in and uh, try to destroy Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes gets pinned. Nothing. Two. Yes, sir. Before the match even started, Cody Rhodes actually saw Arn Anderson. And what Arn said is like, you know, like there, there's, you know, we got some backup for you. I got, I can just talk to people and, you know, they can help you out and stuff. So pretty much alluding to a interference, which it's a bloodline match. We kind of knew that was going to happen. Kevin Owens decided to come out and also Randy Orton decided to come out. Started beating each other up. They started chasing each other all the way backstage. We still had Jekyll Fatu to come in, right? Jekyll Fatu comes in, does the big old splash on the announce table on cody from the top rope at this point we we're just kind of anticipating who was going to come out solo tries to pick up the scraps try to give him that samoan spike and um it didn't work cody hits a cody cutter and then they're both laying down and here comes doo -doo, the head of the table baby i had some doubts that roman was going to come out but i you know i was sticking to my guns i was like at roman at least roman's going to come out i'm kind of surprised no one else came out with him i thought paul was going to come out with him but no nah. yeah roman comes out and uh just slowly walks man slowly walks give solo a that superman punch and then the spear roman leaves cody rhodes one two three Oh my god, Triple H cooked. Not even just on that specifically, but like everything else. Like he cooked in this PLE, man. He, 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 did, he did some wonders. With the Judgment Day falling apart, Gunther winning, Braun winning, LA Knight winning. Unfortunately, Nia Jax winning, but I think at the end of this, you know, Tiffy's gonna get the title, but it's fine. I'll just wait it out. And then obviously Cody retaining and Roman coming back. Roman got the biggest pop that he's ever gotten, man. I'm so happy. Roman's back. Roman's back, ladies and gentlemen. What would I rate this event out of 10? This, I, you know what? At least a nine, all right? At least a nine. Friday is gonna go crazy, crazy as well. Oh, man, I'm just excited, man. I'm just excited. Today was a great day. Today's an important day. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see y'all tomorrow, all right? Yeah, turn around. No, I got options. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key in my heart just to lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.